Well, in this weekly update, we're going to give you a little bit of information about the storm debris cleanup, which is now underway. It just started this week. And with me, I have Josh McMahon. He is the solid waste manager for the city of Fayetteville. Uh, so, Josh, tell us what types of debris you're picking up, how it should be sorted, uh, and give the residents all the information that we need to make this process go a little bit easier. All right. Thank you, Sherry. So we're collecting all the storm debris, uh, anything that was generated from the storm. Uh, so if you can have it at a pile by the by the curb uh, within seven feet reach from the curb line, uh, that's what will be collected. We're going to collect uh, vegetative debris such as tree limbs, uh, leaves, uh, your standard yard waste material. Uh, and we're also going to be collecting uh, C&D material, which covers uh, mattresses, uh, any furniture that was damaged from the storm only. Uh, so it needs to be damaged from the storm, whether it was flooding or uh, damage you know that maybe a tree might have fell through through the house uh, and uh, we ask that any electronics be taken to uh, Cumberland County they have a couple uh, drop sites uh, for, for that kind of material uh, and any hazardous material needs to go there as well and when you say electrical that that's anything with cords right any electronics like computer screens TVs things like that right? yes ma'am yep that covers everything except for your appliances uh, your white goods such as dryers washers uh, dishwashers, uh, anything of that nature it definitely needs to be, uh, you know, set at the curb in a separate pile. Every single pile needs to be separate. Uh, we cannot uh, contaminate or mix the loads. Okay, so we want to make sure that the piles are not too close together and we also want to make sure that the piles are not in front of poles, mailboxes, fire hydrants, things like that. And also to remind residents, do not park your cars or vehicles in front of the piles because the trucks will not be able to access it then, correct? Yes ma'am, yes that is correct. Uh, you know, we got very tight spaces within the city uh, so we need as much space as we can to safely operate to get this debris off, you know, off of our city streets. I know that this process is going to take a little bit of time. Will you be making multiple passes going through neighborhoods or how is that going to work? Yes, ma'am. So our current uh, debris contractor, uh, they are projected to do two passes through every neighborhood. Uh, they're going through zip codes street by street uh, and that's how we're covering the areas. Uh, so they'll make two passes. Uh, obviously right now we're currently on our first pass with them. They started collections yesterday. I'm sure everyone's seen our city trucks uh, throughout those streets as well. Uh, and we do, we are still operating some of our equipment with theirs to try and speed this process up. Okay. And uh, we might want to touch on the fact that um, for tree limbs that are in the yard or uh, like such as this back here, I don't know if you can see that there, but we have uh, a huge tree that is down back here. You do not go on private property to remove that, correct? Uh, that's correct. We will not, uh, anything that's within the seven feet of the right of way, that's what we will collect. Uh, we ask homeowners anything that's in their yard, they bring it to the curb within that seven foot from the curb line and out of the street. We also want to remind residents that if you've got your regular trash and recycling out, those will be picked up on their normal days. They will not be picked up uh, as the debris is being picked up, the white goods, the limbs, anything like that. So you want to keep those separately. Those will be picked up on new regular trash days, correct? Yes, ma'am, that is correct. Okay, is there anything else that residents should know? Uh, be patient. Uh, you know, we have a lot of employees uh, that we've dedicated a lot of time already to this. and. We understand, you know, that there's a lot of debris on the ground, uh, so this could be, you know, a, a long process, uh, and and uh, we're doing everything we can. Uh, we're taking calls uh, to make sure we get everything noted of what is out there, but we're also going street by street as well. Uh, so patience is, is, is very appreciated. Okay, thank you very much, Josh. And we want to remind residents uh, for more information to go to the city's website at fayettevillenc.gov slash debris, and you can get all the information that we've talked about today.